But in our hearts, they're a national championship team. They had the only Heisman Trophy winner ever at Penn State, John Capaletti. And he's here this afternoon just to say a couple words. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. I don't, uh, I don't coach, so I don't scream like the coach does. So, <laughs> anyway, um, first thing, the '73 team. We made up a little momentum for the momentum for the weekend, and we wanted to. They asked me to give this to Coach O'Brien because, it just as a token, but also because of the way he's reached out to the former players, the guys who wore those jerseys, the guys who played here before you, and that common link that we all have. So, Coach. Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate you getting the big win on the day they retired my jersey. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, you know, I, I've been watching the team this year. Uh, you know, you get a lot of publicity. I saw the ESPN piece on training day. You guys got you seem to have a bunch of characters in here that really like each other. Uh, there was a piece in the game day today about the same thing. And if I could pass anything on, it would be don't underestimate the value of you guys as a team truly liking each other because there are going to be times and you know how long the season is there are going to be times when somebody's flat a couple guys aren't playing well a couple guys aren't feeling good and th the rest of the team is going to have to pick them up and you're going to have to go forward and trust me when i say that there was a game that we played where if we didn't have the camaraderie that we did and the teamwork that we had that we w probably wouldn't have won the game, and it would have made all the difference in the world for our season. So congratulations on today. Good luck the rest of the season. You guys got the makings of a great season. Good start, and you know, you got so many people out there that are pulling for you, that love you guys, that want to be there, that want to cheer for you. You just do your best for them, and they'll always be behind you. We want you to wear this jersey the rest of your career here. Thank you. When you're done with it, I want it back. <laughs> I really felt we all got after it today. Uh, you know, not, we didn't lose a step from uh, last week. Um, all week we knew it was going to be a big game. They're a good football team. The thing with football is, you know, it don't matter who you play against, you know, something can happen. You know, they got early on us, so, you know, we had to come back and respond. And uh, I think we did that going into the stretch. Austin, how much fun was it to get out there and play in front of the home fans? It was a lot of fun. First home game. We won 45 to 7. Can't come up with that. It's a lot of fun and uh, good fans. It was, felt good to be out there. Daquan, what can you say about the fans? You're a senior, you've been here a lot, yeah. but being out there in front of those students, it had to feel good. Oh, um, it was just great to know that you're home, you know. Uh I told you all last week, you know, I felt like a home game, but, you know, just being in front of all of them and seeing everyone and seeing all the banners and all the alumni, it's, just, it's great to see it and, uh, and I love them. We are. You know, it was great. It was like two uh, season openers. We got to play Syracuse, but, you know, it's it's different playing in front of the home crowd. It's great. It's a great experience. Uh, we played well, We're continuing to get better every week, and just really excited to play as a unit. It was great, you know. We came out here, first game back in Beaver Stadium and uh, we just wanted to give the fans a show so I mean we all came out here as a team and performed well. 51 year touchdown run, what'd you see on that? Um, the line did a great job and it was like a domino effect, everybody fell down and uh, they gave me a crease and I saw it open up and I just took full advantage of it. Uh, you know we started off slow, uh, Eastern Michigan came in, um, slowed us down a little bit but uh, you know we really hurt ourselves and then uh, you know we just kept chugging and we were really resilient today, built on our positives and uh, you know finished the game. How much do you learn as the game goes on? Obviously only playing two games, but how much different did the fourth quarter feel versus the first quarter last week? Huge difference. I felt a lot more confident. I uh, realized that I could you know, pick up defenses a little quicker than I was. So uh, you know, that helped moving forward, especially from even, even from the first snap this game. Um, you know, the game really slows down. The more you go, the more you see things happen. So uh, big difference for me there. What can you say about the running game? Big day for all three of those guys. Huge day for them. Uh, well deserved. The offensive line did a great job today. Uh, you know, the whole team in terms of our tempo. That's why we broke the big run with for Bill, uh, the big run. Big tempo, uh, got up to the line of scrimmage before they were even set, snapped it, and he took off. So it was great, uh, great way to bounce back off of last week for us offensively. Your first game on the field in Beaver Stadium. How did it feel to be out there in front of those students? Yeah, the yeah, you know, that was great. Um, you know, I had been waiting now for a while. Uh, you know, great atmosphere. Couldn't have been more happy with it. Um, and, you know, just kept building. It was awesome. It was great to get back to this, this home field. We was in MetLife last year, but it's never compared to this. And coming out with the student section at our back, it just felt great to, for the first game. What'd you like about the way the defense played? Uh, we, we played real well. We, you know, we had a shout out. 
except for the, you know they, they scored their defense scored but we had a showdown on defense and we yeah we played well we didn't get turnovers like like we wanted but but we stopped when we had them out the end zone so great you know i mean i mean even though last game was like a home game just getting back here just in front of our home fans and our student section it was really a, a big win for us talk about your day and the, and the day christian had got the ball to a lot of different yeah. players out there yeah i mean i mean that's the greatness of our offense you know just just with a quarterback like him just being able to make his reads and get the ball to everybody you know i mean like if they start to roll um, on coverage a different way and, and things like that you'll see a lot of people getting the ball